So what phytoestrogens do is they bind it very weakly and it blocks estrogen from binding. So you actually get a net decreased estrogen exposure, which is actually healthier for people. Question, I've heard you speak about the misconceptions around phytoestrogens. I'm confused as to whether our phytoestrogens help or hurt menopausal hot flashes. Thank you so much for all you do. Um, okay, so yeah, phytoestrogens is one that um, that people get wrong a lot and usually in a very frustrating way in which that it gets people to eat off the plant. So phytoestrogens are found in certain types of foods in higher amounts. So flax seeds is one and tofu is one that people often talk about in terms of phytoestrogens. So people who really don't understand the science will actually assume that phytoestrogens are estrogens and tell you that you will get more estrogen in your body if you eat those foods. And that is so wrong, it actually hurts me physically. <laughs> when I hear that, I actually feel a physical, no, um, it's absolutely not the case. Um, my husband will often joke about that. Because, uh, my, my husband grew up eating tofu. His mother's Taiwanese. Uh, he's eaten tofu his whole life. Any of you have seen him. Uh, he does not have man breasts. Uh, he's got pecs, uh, but he does not have breasts. He does not have, uh, his testosterone looks great. Uh, he does not have high estrogen. So uh, eating things with phytoestrogen does not give you estrogen. And so therefore it, is, it actually uh, does not cause breast cancer, does not cause man boobs, none of that. Okay, so that's number one. Now, what do phytoestrogens do? So phytoestrogens do weakly bind the estrogen receptor weakly. So the way estrogen works, or really the way most of the, how our body communicates, is a hormone will come in and bind to the receptor. When it binds to the receptor, it activates it, and that's what creates the physical effect. So when I feel more estrogen in my system, it's because estrogen is binding and activating, and then your body goes, ooh, estrogen, right? So what phytoestrogens do is they bind it very weakly and it blocks estrogen from binding. So you actually get a net decreased estrogen exposure, which is actually healthier for people. Um, so for men, great, less estrogen, not more. If you want a big dose of estrogen, eat some uh, steak, right? <laughs> a lot of the uh, steak people eat, they come from the female cows that are no longer being used for milk production. They're gonna, you're getting lots of that so from a formerly pregnant cow, right? Pl dairy, oh my gosh, a nursing cow, right? Tofu, no. Uh, flax seeds, no, right? So phytoestrogens actually block it. So for most folks, they feel dramatically better because it's going to decrease our risk of breast cancer for women because we're having less exposure to estrogen. Um, it can, uh, and again, uh, it's great for men too, no problem. Now, menopause is another story, right? So in menopause, what some of us go through is we're now decreasing uh, the estrogen in our body. And so while most folks find that having the flax seeds as part of their hypernourishment program, even in menopause, they feel great. And actually it gets rid of a lot of their symptoms of uh, menopause. A lot of folks will tell me their hot flashes go away, they feel great. But I have had rare cases where some people felt like their menopause symptoms felt a bit worse with flax seeds, but not with chia seeds, possibly due to that effect where actually they need, they need whatever estrogen they have to bind. And so even that effect probably doesn't happen if you're just having a handful a day, but if you're trying to have high amounts, sometimes when people are hypernourishing, they go above a half cup a day or more, then the simple thing to do is just switch to chia seeds. So nothing unhealthy about it at all, but it could create a symptom for you in menopause if you have that easy fix. Like I said, most folks actually feel better when, they have, uh, when they're going through menopause and they have some flax. But if you don't, that could be the reason. So hopefully that makes sense and explains it all. And congratulations again for reversing 10 years of mystery illness and feeling great. We're so glad that our protocol worked for you. So congratulations.